Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stay Gamers, and welcome to Arise's New Dawn. Now, this caught my eye on the workshop the other week, and I thought we'd check it out. I've played 30 or so minutes of it so far. I built myself two characters and had a little bit of a mess around, so we're not fumbling over controls to start with. So we've got two characters here to choose from, Alfred Parker and Mike Hammer. That definitely doesn't sound like a porn star gone space engineer. Now, moving on a little bit on the left, we've got the info of what sort of structures are available to these characters. You can see one's got an inflatable dome and a droid, and the other one just has a droid. But we're going to build a new character at the moment. So we've got two factions to choose from that I reckon will play more of a part in the online start side of things in the future. And we've got four classes. We've got scientists. If you if you want to focus on spacecraft rockets, then this is your calling. Marine. So I'm guessing these will give you different sort of benefits. So that's more like a soldier. Semper Fi. Whoop whoop. Uh, we've also got. Um, I think that's, it's more like a Ura. No, that's that's it. Moving on to engineers. We uh, we are we are the engineers. So I guess they have maybe building specialities and stuff and we've got ranger but i prefer to play as the bad guys so we've got the outlander faction that are based uh, like a band of space pirates who treat space as ungoverned lawless territory i like the quite idea of that uh great at surviving on thieving own um, small groups extremely resourceful especially with um resource processing and domesticating indigenous alien species so that sounds quite funky in its own right so let's actually customize our suit a little bit um, red is very bad guy and stuff, but I think we need to go with a bit more of a subtle approach to this So we'll go with a light sort of armor color and then we'll maybe go with a secondary of a sort of red now That's too red. And that's definitely too red. Let's what why don't we try like a greeny color? Oh, like that like an OD green and then we've got a glow of our helmet light So we'll go with a green like that. That's good. That's quite a subtle attempt Maybe I don't know. I like the light green though It makes me look very alien, but you stand out a bit too much. So we'll go with that So we're here down on the planet itself now, there's something to bear in mind here is I've just constructed this inflatable dome that you get to start with, and I've also created a forge. Now, around us in the landscape, there's a whole variety of resources that we're going to have to pluck together, so I'll just show you the stuff that you can build. The next stage of building is I need to get something called a habitat. Um, it's a multi-purpose room that can hold many interior items, so you get interior furniture like this. So we go on this, so we've got a chemistry table, fabricate, and each one of these items can allow you to build other things. So, for instance, a fabricator is an indoor crafting table. That use advanced technology to print new complex items from basic components and then we've got oxygen generating so on we can have a look through these later when we need them you can obviously you know what a couch is a couch can be used to unwind and replenish your vitals build inside a barracks so we've also got the other structures so we've got barracks airlock and we can build the rest of these as well i think we've got some way of accessing and building vehicles but maybe you have to use a work table so in our backpack at the moment we've got very simple supplies and we've got a few different things on our toolbar as well we can also add things so we can add patch tape to it if we need to as well we've got the baked potato that's extremely important and your steamed carrot that doesn't look super attractive but the baked potato looks good you could put a bit of cheese with that a bit of space promise cheese or whatever you want to call it right so let's actually have a look at our mission so far search the planet um, for the right materials to start building a habitat structure. So that's what I said before. So let's actually have a look what we need to build this. So we'll go back to the top. We need steel, glass, and aluminium. We also need copper and aluminium. So basically, aluminium and copper we need to collect. So once we've collected that, we can head over to our furnace or forge, and we can actually start forging our components. So we've got iron, titanium. We need to get that aluminium. Um, right, so, so let's get on graveling out so there's some resources over there and i think the aluminium is in this direction as well so we'll go and look there first so we're using our tools we've got ourselves a chisel and we've also got third person that i really like the guy walks like super tactically though that's the only thing about it look because look at that when he grabs his assault rifle and brings it up you just feel like you're exploring some sort of alien planet and if a bug comes out over the next ridge you just gonna have to take it out so there's some aluminium for us get our chisel the chiseling works quite simply you just hit the rock you can't really chisel away at the landscape so if we just hit that aluminium, you can see it breaks away into parts. Very arcade-ish, but still at the same time it gets the job done. So there's our aluminium. Uh, well, let's break down another aluminium rock while we're here. Okay, hit that second bit. Get around all these parts. So we're picking these up with F, and then we can take these back to our dome. We've also got a jetpack as well. So if I press spacebar, you can see we can glide across the landscape. I, I don't know yet if you can get the drone to do things for you. I know you can use it to protect you like settlement or patrol an area. So that's what it's doing at the current moment in time. So we'll just run back as fast as we can. You can see our suit and stamina down there being used up. So back to F. Head over to the forge. Open that forge up. Check our inventory. And we'll dump that aluminium in. So we're a bit closer to crafting what we need. So dump that in into there. One of the large things about this sort of category of game that I really do enjoy is exploring. And that's what it's all about. So you can see we've got some uranium over there. But it's been guarded by a massive bug. I also burnt a furnace over there by mistake as well. 
Now over here we've got enough resources, but we're looking for magnesium. Magnesium seems to be quite difficult. Oh Jesus Christ, there's another big creature over there. It's guarding some other rocks as well. I need some form of binoculars or something so I can see these um, different resources from a distance. That's proving to be the hardest part so far. Looks like we're getting a little bit of a dust storm blowing in here. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh my god! What? What the hell? A giant worm just came out the ground. Like a saboid. Okay, abandoned crater is not a very safe place. We're looking for magnesium though, and there's still no magnesium. Oh, it's like a purpley colour on the diagram. That was very scary. I thought it was just about to get eaten. Okay. It looks like there's some trees and forest in that direction. I don't know where magnesium is likely to hang out. Let's have a quick look at this. I reckon this is aluminium, probably. But yeah, it's got a, like a purpley tint to it, so we could... <gasps> no! Back, 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 back! Okay, okay, that was close. Okay, one alien meat but into the backpack. So what is this? <gasps> it's magnesium! Yes! So magnesium just happens to be in the crater with the giant animal thing. Let's get rid of that thing, shall we? Or try to. I don't know how many mags we've got. Okay, should be dead. There we go. We can mine this magnesium. Now, this magnesium is very far away. So, it's probably best if we, we pack up on this. We get a lot of this in stock. Okay, so let's pack this up. Load up all the magnesium that we've got. Right, so we should finally be able to build our dome thing. But even though it's pitch black and you won't be able to see anything, that's probably not a good thing. So, let's go over to our little forge here and create, craft ourselves a dome. So there we go, we've got a large sort of utilitarian dome. Oh, we can have it on like different sort of platforms as well. Let's place it a little bit higher up over here maybe. Will that work? Okay, so this dome has like multiple layers. Let's confirm the build. Okay, hold um, the build object with more health. Hold action button. Oh, there we go. So this is building up our main sort of dome. Let's we'll get some power online, I guess, after this or something. Okay, objectives built. Habitat. So my backpack's at 1 at 70 still, so before we explore that, have we got flashlights or anything? <gasps> there we go, we've got a light. So L is a light, very nice. Power that up, I guess that uses some of the suit's power, so let's- What the fuck is that thing? Little drone! Little- Help me! Oh my god, little drone! Little drone! I'm being attacked, there's no ammo in my guns! Yes! Get away! Oh my god, I'm literally shaking. What the fuck is that thing? That, I didn't expect something like that. Dead infant. Oh my god, that was scary. Ah! Oh, thank you, little drone. Thank you. <laughs> oh, stay with me. Oh, it makes an R2 noise as well. What's that? What's that? There's another one of them. Little drone behind you. Yes, protect me. Ah. Oh my god, I don't like the night. I don't like the night. I'm gonna help you, little drone. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, little drone. Right, stay with me. Actually, no, follow me. You staying with me, little drone. We need some protection in the dark. I didn't like how that thing came over that little ridge like that, though. Maybe it's the light that's attracting them, but I don't really want to sit here in the dark. Okay, let's, let's just carry on and forge. Keep forging. We've got some sand. So, we just need to forge some panels out of it. Okay, not enough materials. Let's just check how many sand. We've only got four glass. Add that to there. We'll just sand. We'll dig a bit. I hate digging in the dark. Is it? I thought this game was going to be nice and safe at night time. I didn't think there'd be creepy weird things that look like they've come from dead space out of nowhere. Alright, get some more sand up. I'll, I'll, I'll report back if we report in the morning. Oh, my little drone's damaged. Right, we need to repair you maybe somehow. Oh, we can give it a nickname? Um, Dave. Let's call him Dave. Oh no, let's let's do a Henry. Oh no, there's another one. Henry! There's it, 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 it. Henry! Henry! It's behind you, bud. How can we tell it to attack? Ah! Oh my god, this is not fun. Oh! No! Suit breach, help! Help, Henry! Oh my god, this, I'm under a cupboard. Where's the number six? We need to tape our suit up quickly. 
kill that thing. Hurry up and kill it. Fucking hell, there's loads of them. I'm getting in my little tent. Fuck that. Alright, we need to patch up our suit somehow. Yo, vital signs. Okay, our vital signs are stable. Little Henry outside is getting bloody hammered by the look of it. How many of them is there? Okay, so little Henry here. How can we repair him? Can we repair him? Oh no, Henry's dead! Take that! No, you're not killing me! Where's he gone? Just stay back. I need to get close to it, but I'm over in cupboard. Right. Jetpack. You've not got a jetpack, but have you? Yes. Oh, it's coming sunlight and he's backing off. Yeah, there we go. Take that. Take that. You scummy little thing. Killed by Henry. Oh my god, there's another one! What the fuck's that thing? Why is these things coming out of everywhere and that one's upside down and... As soon as I build a buddy dome... I can't get in here now. My little tent is going to protect me, right? So these bad things come out at night, so let's just save it for the minute. Okay, we can't really go outside. We need to get over to that thing, really, so let's just try a run for it. If we can. Oh, it's going to fall off. Ah! What the hell is that? Is that a face or a back or a... This is why we need to get this habitat, I'm guessing, done pretty bloody fast. So fuck the windows. Okay, that. Right, can we get a window one? Let's try getting a window one. Okay, we're not getting damaged. Oh, bugger off. There's a window. Alright, let's see if we can get another window up. It's just, I don't want them attacking me. I know they're not damaging me at the moment because of the way they're coming through the wall. Oh, little, little Henry went down. Okay, we, we just, all we can build is walls now. So we'll just wall ourselves in, build this habitat, and we should be safe. Okay, okay, this is... Oh, this is not good. Uh, come on, weld! Oh, I don't like that. If it gets trapped in here... Oh, yes! We have a habitat, but we have no door. Um, okay, we need, we need to work out how to get a door. Maybe we need an airlock. Search the minerals for an airlock. And that bloody thing's outside. I've not got any ammo. Oh my god, my life. I guess we just have to confront it. Like, we've got maximum capacity. Oh, don't come in the bloody place. There's two of them outside now. Okay, so let's just drop that so we're a bit more agile. Drop some sand. Okay, so we should be a little bit more agile to fight these guys. Alright, let's just go for it. Oh, no! Alright, get back in, get back in. That was a bad idea. See, this is a long-range thing. and I can, If I get close to it, I can give it a good hammer in. So that one's dead. This thing, though, I don't know what the fuck it's doing. Is it upside down? Okay, not a good idea fighting that up close by the look of it. I'm taking some severe damage. Ah! It's just jumped at me. Can we get on top of this thing? No, we can't. We can't. Let's try to make it for the door. Oh, get back, you scummy creature. Yes, there we go. Finally. That was a horrible little fight. Right, so it's back to daytime. We fought off the creatures. I'm assembling uh, my airlock now, so we don't have to rotate this into position. We've got some windows up. We're all red at the moment, our building, so that's not particularly good. So we need to just confirm rotation, so left and right mouse buttons. Uh, this should connect up with this part. Yes, that's good. Um, let's just make sure we've got that in position, and then we can confirm the build. Build this up into place. Hopefully in the future they have a bit more of a welding mechanic, where you're welding these pieces up manually. Okay, object built. And we have ourselves an airlock. Very nice. Build a chemistry table in the habitat. So we've got ourselves an airlock. Let's have a look. Begin depressurization. Oh, that's cool. Okay, and it was fast as well. So here is our little habitat. We can actually do stuff in here. We can build a chemistry table. Let's have a look what a chemistry table actually requires. So with these building games, I guess it's always like this. You're always going to be building the next thing. You're looking for the next thing to make your survival easier. You're stealing glass, so it's not too hard. We can whip one of them out. Let's check our backpack. We've got two glass, and we're gonna gonna need. Oh, we've got ten. We need ten and five steel, so that's all good. We'll leave our airlock. Right. So we're moving on to placing our chemistry lab. We've got the resources for it. Let's have it right there near the window. Confirm build. Build our chemistry lab. We've got the missions up here. That's giving us quite a few clues on what to do. So. 
We're not too stuck at the moment. But I am wondering what a chemistry lab will let us do. Um, build a fabricator in the habitat. Uh, a chemistry table is a specialised indoor crafting table that transforms many gases and liquids into more complex items. Build inside uh, a habitat. Okay, so we've got enough food and resources. Oh, so with this we can make glass containers, we can make rubber, we can make plastic, and we can also make soil for growing crops. Interesting, I like this, I'm liking this mechanic so far. So my theory to get hydrogen to build a plastic is we need to get one of these barrels, but to do that we need to make some steel plates, and to do that we need to go all the way back to that crater. So we're just going to drop off as many supplies as we can here. We've got two assault rifle magazines that should see us through the thick of it. We've not got anything to defend the base, so if it comes back and it's all in rubble, well... That's, that's problematic, but we'll just have to deal with it when it comes to that stage. So we've got two steel there, we've got bandages. We've got enough supplies to get us over there. All right, we're back at the abandoned crater. And every time we seem to get here, it seems to trigger the massive creature. Oh my fucking God. Right, can we get out of the way of this thing again? I don't think it can kill us, but I'm not too sure. I wouldn't want to risk it. It seems to land just exactly behind us. So this is probably not a safe area for a habitat. Very cool indeed. I wish I had a little bit more effects to it though. Now, this is where the magnesium's at. We've got two assault rifle magazines, so let's make sure that this thing's loaded. Just in case. Let's check this crater out. I like these trees over there. I would like to investigate that a little bit further. So, here we are. We're at some trees. I'm not too sure what we can do with them. We'll go to the base of this one and see if we can mine it or drill it or chisel it. Let's see exactly what we can do with it. The first thing that human does or interaction with these things is by trying to hit them. Okay, looks like we can do nothing. Let's get out of this foresty area and get our magnesium back. Oh my god, suit breach. Oh, these like prickly bushes and stuff. Okay, we need to do this. Forest is not a safe place. Okay, so them prickly bushes we need to stay out of the way of. All right, let's jetpack ourselves over here. We missed the carbon on the way. So what we'll have to do is get that on the way back or dip back into here. The only problem that I'm gonna, I can see is I don't know where hydrogen is. There's some vents up there. We'll have a look up there. So the fabricator has just been constructed. Now, the thing with the fabricator, if I go to my other option, is this can build some com complicated things. This can build the assault rifle, dart gun, a special weapon that fires a dart projection to stun enemy creatures. Also, tame creatures. Mm. But look at all the electronics and things it requires as well. So you can see we need to really step up our mining operations here. So wire, uh, we need to build some rubber to get wire. That means we need to go and collect some more hydrogen. So we probably need to do a run for that. Uh, we also need, I think, chloroform or some sort of weird thing to make that rubber go and work. And we need some gold, circuit boards, gold. And to build the next thing that the mission wants us to do, that's an oxygen generator. So let's go to that level and build aluminium, circuit board, titanium and wire. So it's not too much, but it's going to be quite complicated getting the circuit boards and the gold and finding all them parts. So what I'm going to do is wrap it up here for this episode. And I have to say, I would like to play a little bit more of this on the channel again. It was quite fun. It was hard finding the resources. So I would expect to maybe see a little bit more of this game. It is very good. It's quite intuitive. And for what, what I'm seeing at the moment, it seems quite fun. It's very basic, but I like it. I like it a lot. Hopefully the multiplayer lives up to the same sort of basicness. It kind of feels a little bit like, um, what was that game called? Ark but in a space sort of environment with the feeling of the animals and the other things. But I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. I'll see you next time.